Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between engraving and scoring letters using your laser cutter. So I'm going to explain what this means, uh, and then I'm going to show you how I would set it up in Cuddle, and then I'm also going to show you how I would set it up using the Glowforge interface, which hopefully translates to other machines. So let's start by defining the terms. So when you set up an operation to engrave using your machine, I'm going to show you a clip that I made with mine, the design gets burned line by line, pretty much the same way that a ink printer would do it. So as you can see here, the head of the machine is going back and forth, and it's uh, kind of line by line uh, creating the design that I sent. So there are some advantages and disadvantages to doing it this way. So one big advantage is that often you get a nice contrast between the design and the material. As you can see on this plywood, I got a really nice uh, dark uh, color there. Um, another advantage is that there are more designs that you could potentially engrave. And then disadvantages are, for example, that the obvious one is that it takes a bit longer. Um, also, because you're burning away more material in general, your machine might get more dirty if you do it a lot, so you have to clean it more often. Um, so here, for example, these letters are about inch and a half long, and they took one minute to engrave on my machine. That's just kind of like a general sense, uh, just to give you a general sense of it. Now, when you set something to score, here I have another clip, what you're doing is that you're doing something similar to cutting the material, but you set it up to a lower power. So it doesn't cut all the way through, but it burns a line. Um, so let me show you this one. So as you can see, by doing that, the machine just follows the lines which makes the operation much faster. So in this case, it took actually seven seconds to score a word that is about the same size as the other one. So the advantage here is speed, of course, and the disadvantage perhaps is that there are fewer fonts that are optimized like this one um, to be single line fonts. Um, so let's see how I would set it up on Cuddle. So I'm gonna go back here to the Cuddle editor. I'm gonna get a blank canvas. So. To do any text in Cuddle, you can always grab a text component here and set it up on your canvas. Um, and then you can type whatever you want. So I could type something like engrave these. Um, perhaps we want to make that a little bit bigger. Let's make it, you know, about one and a half inches, the same as the other one. Um, and then with Cuddle, you don't have to expand or do anything with any font. It's ready to go um, as soon as you type it. You can choose any font that you want. And basically, all fonts that we have are going to work well for scoring um, with a little caveat. Let me show you. So let's say I want to uh, send this one to my Glowforge. So in this case, I could set it up to an outline as the default is, or I could actually give it a fill. And this might make a difference for some machines. So I'm going to give it a fill. Um, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to right click and do copy and I'm going to move over to the Glowforge interface and I'm going to paste it. Um, this is an easier way to do it. Uh, you can always download an SVG and upload it um, and it's going to be the same. So I have something that says engrave these. Let's zoom it in. And so the Glowforge interface gives me both options. Whenever I have this selected, I can either set the operation to engrave by selecting it here and it actually shows me uh, that it's engraving by filling it up with the color. Or I can set the operation to score by selecting score. Let's try this one. And it shows me that it's scoring by just outlining it in this kind of uh, blue gray. Sorry, purple blue or something like that. Um, so I could score this design, except there are some fonts that will be much faster because in this case, as you can see, the head is going to have to follow each letter, you know, for a kind of longer time. Um, so let's see how I would do one of those. Um, I could do it exactly the same. I could pull the text and write whatever I want, you know, like score these. Um, and then I would have to go in and select one of the single line fonts, which are a category here at the bottom left. So all of these single line fonts are optimized to have a single line. So they're specifically easy to score. Um, another easy way to make this happen is that if you search for text 
here there is an option that says see single line text so that one kind of immediately gives you the single line font so let's look at that on the Gloveforge interface so i'm going to do the same i'm going to copy it i'm going to move over and i'm going to paste it so now i have this score these and let's see the difference so Let's say I have this one set up for engraving the way I did before. And let's set this one to score. So the one caveat is that the score, the, the funds that are optimized for scoring, the single line funds, they won't do uh, such a good job at engraving because let's try, let's try it and I'll show you what happens. If I set it to engrave, what happens is that they don't do as well because the fills get cal calculated in, in a kind of weird way. So those are definitely uh, use useful for scoring. So if you run into a file that has single line fonts that are optimized for scoring, you can always go ahead and change the font. Let's say we choose a different font for this one. And then I think in general, the recommendation is that you give it a fill. I think most software will recognize um, an element that has a fill as something that needs to be engraved. So um, that might not be precisely what you need to do with the Glowforge, but I think in general that this is what I would recommend for you know your own organization and for the way other software, other laser cutting software works. So I hope this gives you a good explanation of the difference between these two operations and what you would use one or the other. And please let me know if you have any other comments. Thank you for watching.